Poland may transfer several MiG-29s to Ukraine, this will expand the fleet of Ukrainian fighters. Poland may donate its remaining MiG-29 fighters to Ukraine, potentially returning the Ukrainian Air Force fleet to full strength. As Forbes writes, fighter jets are not the most pressing need of the Ukrainian Air Force. The Air Force most needs air defense capabilities to protect the existing fighters on the ground. Adding aircraft without adding air defense capabilities could result in the aircraft being disabled before they can even fly a single combat sortie. The publication writes, Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk has said he would hand over the MiGs, of which there are about 15, if NATO allies deploy the jets to patrol the country's airspace. This is not a problem for the alliance. The publication noted that the Poles will send MiGs to the Ukrainians since the need for this is obvious. It is unclear how many MiGs the Ukrainians have left. At the start of the war, there were about 50, but as the publication noted, Ukraine lost at least 28 MiG-29s during the war, which was confirmed by analysts. In total, Poland and Slovakia provided 27 MiGs as replacements, but some of them were unsuitable for flight and were used only as spare parts. A dozen or more additional Polish MiG-29s would restore, if not expand, the Ukrainian Air Force's MiG fleet and buy time for the Air Force as new F-16s and Mirage 2000s trickle in over the coming year or so. The first few F-16s are due to arrive in Ukraine any day now, but there's some risk any fresh ex-Polish MiGs would never even get off the ground. Taking advantage of gaps in Ukrainian air defenses, the Russians have been flying more drones over Ukrainian airfields and striking the airfields with Iskander missiles. And that's why Ukraine needs extra air defense more than it needs extra fighters. India demands that Putin returns the Indians who fought in the Russian army against Ukraine. Russia will dismiss from the army all Indian nationals who signed contracts and were sent to the war against Ukraine. As NDTV reported citing sources, an agreement to this effect was reached by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Putin. According to the sources, Modi raised the issue during a dinner with Putin. The latter agreed to dismiss all Indians serving under contract in Russian units and facilitate their return home. Indian Congress leaders had asked whether Modi will ensure the safe return of Indians fighting for the Russian army in the war zone. Congress General Secretary in Charge of Communications, German Ramesh, posed a series of questions for the Prime Minister in a post on X. At least two individuals have already been confirmed as fatalities of the war. Many others have been duped into fighting a war where they have no stake. Aside from a chance to escape the poverty and unemployment crisis that the non-biological Prime Minister has perpetuated domestically. Will the non-biological Prime Minister take up the cause of these youth? Will he ensure their safe return to India as soon as possible? Ramesh asked. We remind you that in March this year, India's Central Bureau of Investigation uncovered a human trafficking network that was recruiting Indians for high-paying jobs in Russia, which eventually turned out to be fighting in Ukraine. Many Indians enticed to Russia with lucrative education or job opportunities found themselves conscripted into the Russian army to fight against Ukraine when the conflict erupted in February 2022. Some media reports stated that the Russian military employed these Indians as security aides in the Russian military and compelled them to fight alongside Russian soldiers. In June, the Ministry of External Affairs reported that at least four Indian nationals, including a 30-year-old resident of the Hyderabad serving in the Russian army, had been killed in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. 